What's up YouTube? This is my part three video of the unboxing of the customer returns I got that these are supposed to all be Home Depot customer returns. If everything was retail priced, it's supposed to come out to $18,549. I paid $2,009 for all eight pallets that I bought. Here's just a sneak preview of what I got in, uh, in the part two video that you'll be able to see if you click it. And uh, well, we'll start off by just giving you a little preview of what we've already opened. And then we're gonna begin unboxing some more stuff. So I've gotten a whole bunch of string trimmers, a couple of home light rollers, a few chainsaws, a uh, Ryobi wet tile saw, a dented, looks like maybe a forklift hit it, Husky toolbox. I got a whole bunch of these rigid vacuums whole bunch of these little anvil pancake air compressors, a couple bucket head vacuums, actually three jump boxes so far. I think there might be a couple more though. A couple mailboxes. That one's steel, that one's plastic, so I don't know really what they're worth, but a couple more stinger units, the uh, wet dry vac, got a Schumacher 200 amp engine starter, battery charger, Another stinger vacuum and another rigid vacuum down there along with this 62 inch adjustable height work table made by Husky as you can see it's still in the box that corner of the box right there looked like it was crushed I opened up the box and the only thing in that little corner right there was the box full of all the hardware the nuts bolts screws probably a couple of allen keys or wrenches or something to put the thing together that's all that was in the corner. So, whole thing's undamaged. It's brand new. It's very nice. It's about a $350 item, retail price. Uh, another rigid vacuum right there. There's a lot of really good stuff in these customer returns. Hoping to make four to $5,000 off of my $2,000 investment, but we'll see where it goes. So, uh, I gotta move this big box out of my way. So that way I have a little bit of floor space and I'm gonna put it right back over here with the rest of the stuff that I've already gone through. And uh, we're gonna begin with unboxing some more stuff. We've got this entire box that is full of all kinds of tools, some goodies. See a really nice set of door handles right there. There's uh, some more string trimmers over here. Some more string trimmers in here. Another rigid vacuum. There's some pretty good stuff in here. We're gonna do some unboxing, figure out maybe why some of the stuff was returned. And uh, I'm probably gonna have to do a lot of testing, not on video, of a lot of these products to make sure they're not junk. But a lot of what I've found so far is not even been opened. So, suppose let the unboxing begin. Full disclaimer, full disclaimer, I believe that's the word I'm looking for. I'm going to be skipping basically one of the pallets because over here you can see that I have So, first thing I'm going to start with is this Ryobi two-cycle backpack blower. That's a little bit different than all the other stuff I had. That's the only backpack, backpack blower I have found yet. And I also have this other blower here, this jet fan two-cycle blower. That thing looks like a very weird blower. I've never seen a blower that looked like that before. Kind of kind of odd looking but it's very interesting hopefully it's odd looking because it's expensive but it is Ryobi so I'm a little doubtful it's on the expensive side but you never know so all that stuff is on video but I'm not going through every, each and every single one of these string trimmers that would be incredibly boring so start off here Got a rigid vacuum. Actually, I think I might have showed this in the last video. 
no handle on there i think it might be under the blower or under the vacuum so that one may be broken switch seems to work hose is there i'm gonna have to throw that off to the side and test that later and hopefully i have something that works that i can sell because rigid vacuums are pretty decent i've got one in my own garage that i use myself and uh, up at our cabin and they work really well i like rigid stuff i've got an entire well no that's cobalt i've got an entire rigid cordless tool set that i very much enjoy using so next thing this one i don't believe was in a box and it looks like it's brand new i don't know if maybe it was a floor model so that way they could show people but it does not have a spot of dirt on it also i don't see that it has a hose with it but it's a nice big rigid vacuum everything about it looks fine cord was unraveled at some point in its life comes on some wheels so that's you know some nice big wheels so that's kind of nice but i'm gonna roll this off to the side and i'm gonna test that later along with this other stuff right here that i need to test a couple more vacuums battery charger on to the next item that next item would be another ryobi wet tile saw now the other one was opened but this one that looks like it's factory sealed i don't think that's a return i think that must just be overstocked they probably came out with a new model and just had too many to fill a clearance shelf so lucky me i'll probably take it out of the box to test it just to be sure because i don't want to be selling somebody something and then go home and then they're pissed off at me for selling them garbage so i want to be good to whoever's going to be buying stuff to me so that's something i'll have to test out but i'm gonna grab that and toss that over in the pile of the stuff way over there and then we're gonna check out some more stuff next item is actually next items gonna do these two at the same time because i'd like to speed this video up because i don't want it to be an hour long i think it would probably lose the viewer's attention and i don't want that so rigid vacuum removable you can use it as a leaf blower that's pretty cool 6.5 peak horsepower 16 gallon looks like it was opened up at some point in its life so i'm gonna drop that down here and uh open this bad boy up if anybody knows what this yellow sticker is all about maybe somebody that works at home depot would know i got a feeling it probably has to do with the condition of the item because some of these items have red stickers some of them have green stickers some of them have yellow stickers if i had to take a guess at it i would say red is probably severely broken green is probably working and yellow is probably partially broken or maybe even uninspected i don't know but i'm very curious and i'd love to know so if any of you have a clue what that means please drop a comment below and let me know what that's all about that's some knowledge i would really appreciate to have so everything in this box appears to be there looks like it's got a little bit of dirt on it like it might have been used but i mean i know what my vacuums look like after i've used them and they're a lot filthier than that one so i'm gonna have to toss this one off to the side because it was opened and uh i'll have to check that out later to check and see if maybe that one is broken hopefully it's not because then i can make some money on all these items and then i can do this again also if you'd like to see me do more of these videos then drop a comment let me know like my video share with your friends even subscribe everything helps more subscribers i get eventually that will help me out more people watching my videos i'd like to become a full-time youtuber eventually we'll see if that happens i'll keep trying next thing another rigid vacuum looks like it's brand new i don't know that it's honestly ever been out of the box maybe somebody got it changed their mind or if maybe they got it and they returned it without all of the pieces because i don't see a hose i don't see any attachments i hope they're on the inside of this vacuum 
but I got a feeling somebody bought this. Maybe they ordered it on the line and then sent it back without all the pieces so that way they had extra pieces for theirs or needed to replace some of theirs. I don't know. I'll have to open it up eventually and figure it out. You know what? This lid looks like it comes off maybe kind of easy. Maybe I can figure out if the pieces are in there. Haha, -ha, bingo! I don't know if you guys can see that. Poses in there, attachments are in there. Some of them are even still in the bag. Filter on this thing looks brand new. There was, I don't know that anybody ever even turned this thing on or took it out of the box. That is fantastic to see because the more stuff I find that's basically brand new in the box, the more money I can make. So, toss this off to the side and out of the next one. This is probably just garbage. You can buy a large TV slash picture box with a foam bag, foam corners, and heavy duty box. I don't, well, I guess I can see why somebody would need that if they were moving and they wanted to make sure that some of their expensive belongings were very protected, then you could buy yourself a box for it. Clearly, that one was smashed. I highly doubt this is worth anything anyway. I mean, it's just a box. I can't imagine somebody would probably pay more than 10 or 20 bucks for this used, and I don't think it's gonna be a very sought after item. People get boxes for free every day. I'll probably just end up burning this with all the rest of the garbage boxes I'm gonna have from unboxing stuff. A lot of these boxes like this are all tore up, so I'll probably burn the box and you know pop together the pieces that are in the box. Next item. Oh, I can clearly see why this was returned. That's missing one of these little feet on there. This is a ball bearing roller stand. I actually used to use one of these on a daily basis when I was working in a fabrication shop. And, uh, oh boy, that seems a little broken too. So that's not good. But you can put that out like so. And then you can roll materials across that if you're using a saw or you need basically an extension of a table for a piece of steel to lay on it and uh, you know not be trying to fall off the table so that's kind of a good piece I mean if you don't want it to be all tippy you could just take those little feet off of there and it's like brand new don't need the little rubber feet on it anyway I mean I guess they could be convenient so it doesn't vibrate around depending on what you're doing but I don't see it as a big problem so if I had to guess, I could probably get 15 or 20 bucks for that. That's fantastic. Next item is a Husky 15 gallon connect job site cart. Now, when I was taking this out of my trailer, I could see exactly what was wrong with this thing. Somebody clearly biffed that with a forklift because that wheel should not be <laughs> crooked like it is but you know what i bet i can pop these wheels off i can bend that piece of steel back into shape and this thing will be like brand new it doesn't have a spot of dirt on it so clearly nobody got to use it that was probably damaged in a warehouse somewhere and lucky me now it's mine so i could potentially keep that or i could sell it i don't know it would be kind of nice to have something like that for my uh my rigid tool set because right now they're just in a loose bag and that would be much nicer next item is an even bigger job box from husky now i can instantly see what the problem is here i don't know if you guys can see it kind of dark down here let me move a couple pieces of wood i got in this shop offer some more light over here in this corner one of these one of these wheels is off of it now it takes a little round clip to put it back on, but I don't know where in the world I would buy one of those round clips. So I will more than likely fix that by putting it back through that hole. I will just drill that, put a washer and a cotter key on it, and that wheel ain't gonna be going nowhere. I mean, if I had to guess, that item is probably $80 new in the store, maybe even 100. So I will probably have an easy time getting like 40 bucks for it. It's like brand new. I'll point out that I fixed 
that rod so that way the wheel could stay in place, but more than likely, whoever's buying it won't have a problem with it. Next item is Husky eight gallon oil-free air compressor. Now this box is opened up now because it kind of fell out of this big box they use, but it's still wrapped up in plastic. I think that might've been brand new and maybe it fell off of a shelf or something. It appears to be just fine, but I'm gonna have to take that out of the box later and check that out and test it out. So that way I know I'm not selling somebody junk. Next item is a rigid 4X Pro Hose Flexible. So if I have any of these rigid vacuums that are missing hose, I'll get a brand new hose. This box is completely unopened. It's never been used. They must have come out with a new design and it must have been overstock. I don't know any other reason it would have ended up in my hands from this pallet, but it's a pretty nice item to be able to sell. I bet I could easily get somebody to buy this with uh, one of these vacuums and, uh, you know, maybe throw me another five bucks for it. All right, now I'm going to have to move around some stuff. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Next item is a big plastic utility cabinet. Box has been opened, but uh, this box right here is a little smashed, so I think maybe some of the stuff inside is a little smashed. Not 100% sure on my guess, but I'm probably just going to mark that wherever I sell it as, you know, might be damaged goods because something plastic like that, it could be bent out of shape and it could probably easily be manipulated to work just fine. So... Before I move that, I'm just going to skip right to the next item. I don't know why I would have ended up with this. It's brand new. Tire, still got nipples on it, still got air in it. Brand new wheel. Oh, it's got a couple scratches in there. I wonder if maybe somebody bought this and uh, it wasn't the right size, so they returned it. But it doesn't look like it was ever put on the lawn tractor. So I don't know why it would have been returned. Oh well, it uh, should be relatively easy to sell, you know, at uh, probably a flea market, maybe even on Facebook. Heck, I might have a yard tractor that needs a wheel and tire. Got a couple of them, a couple of them have flats, so I'll have to check that out before I sell it. Might just be keeping that one. Also, next thing, nice big heavy duty tarp. I don't know what size that is, but it's it's a really thick tarp. I mean, that's a really heavy duty piece. I don't see anything wrong with it. Looks like maybe it uh, looks like maybe it just got pulled out of the bag somehow. I don't know how, but uh, I mean, it looks brand new, not dirty or anything. And these things are near impossible to get them to fold back up the same way they came when you already take them out of the packaging. I just so happen to have an 18 and a half foot boat that needs a tarp on it for the winter. So I might have to measure that out and see if it'll work for my boat. That'd be pretty cool because heavy duty tarps can get kind of expensive. So that's probably 80 bucks saved on my part. Next thing, there's a bag down here. I don't think anything's in the bag. It's just a book bag. I don't know. What's up with that? It was clearly used, at least for a little while. Oh, I don't know if you can see that in the better light, but it looks like that zipper right there is busted. There's no zipper down at the bottom and it's opened up right there. I guess if somebody really wanted to, they could put a zipper on it, but it's probably not worth it. As cheap as you can buy a good book bag, I don't think it's worth fixing. Probably just throw it in the trash. I mean, I guess if I'm gonna do some of this stuff try to sell some of this stuff off at a flea market somebody might pay a dollar for it and maybe just not use that pouch on the bag i don't know i'm gonna move this big utility cabinet out of the way i'll be right back so i said i was gonna move that utility cabinet so that way i could sell it but i think i'm actually gonna keep it I just popped open the box real quick and i think i see the problem and it looks like a minor problem you can see how that's the shape that that is and some of these look like they're a little out of shape than the others 
that could easily be manipulated to pop right back into shape and be able to work. You see that one's a little bent too. But I've got this box over here that is basically exploding. You know, as you can see, it's got a whole bunch of stuff in there that I've got like a million little things in this box that are probably going to need a shelf or a big box to go in. I could probably use that shelf to keep some of this stuff organized. I'll let you know how that goes. Next item is an Anvil air compressor. The box is not taped shut anymore. It looks like it was probably smashed into by a forklift or something. Doesn't look like it was used, but it looks like it's kind of dirty, probably from this big hole in the box right here. You know, that's a plastic corner right there and it doesn't look like it was damaged. Oh, there's some of the pieces and parts taken out of that. So somebody might have taken this out, didn't like it and returned it. I don't know. It looks perfectly fine. I'm going to have to plug that in and make sure it works. But I mean, I would imagine that should be probably an easy 20 or 30 bucks if it works. Right next to it is another one. I have like six or seven of these Anvil air compressors. If anybody is near the Toledo, Ohio area and needs an air compressor, I've got a few. This one looks like it was opened as well, but the box doesn't look damaged. Let's pop it open and just look at it for a second. It looks a little dirty, like it might have been used once or twice, but I mean, overall, it doesn't look bad. That's a really chintzy air hose. I cannot believe they would even sell something like that. But you know, everything looks to be in here. Even the little parts kit down in the bottom and I don't know. I bet somebody just didn't like this thing and returned it because if I've got this many of them, there must be something that people don't like. But you know what? There's a lot of people out there that would like to have this and just wouldn't care about whatever the other people don't like. I don't know what this bag is to. I seen another bag similar to it that I think hangs off of a rigid vacuum. So maybe I have another rigid vacuum around here that's missing a bag. I'll have to pay attention. All right, let me move this off to the side here. All right, got the air compressors moved. Got an empty box. Don't know why that was in here. All right, probably one of the hoses for one of these rigid vacuum cleaners. There's a vacuum cleaner right here with an open box, so it probably goes to that. But then again, here's another one. I don't know, maybe it's an extra. There's another part, definitely part to a vacuum, but it looks clean, looks brand new. Wonder if that vacuum is brand new as well. That's a hand to a vacuum. Don't know why that's in here all by itself. Got some clear plastic totes. They all look like they're brand new. Oh, I think it's missing a lid. No, the lid is there. Huh. Guess I got some plastic tote to maybe store some smaller pieces in. If I find some small stuff that might get lost along the way. All right. Next item is a sawhorse. Now, you can see this one's got a plastic piece on it that's pretty chintzy, it's fallen off. This one is already broken. That one does not have the plastic piece and it is nowhere in this box. I don't even think this is probably worth selling for anything. It's just a plastic sawhorse. Probably not worth anything. I might be able to keep one of the sawhorses that still has the good top on it if it is the same height as my other sawhorses that I already own. So I'll have to measure that up or maybe set it next to one of my other sawhorses and check and see if that matches the other ones. Because a third sawhorse sometimes is a nice thing to have. If you're working with a thinner material, you know, maybe like a quarter inch panel, 
usually they flop around in the wind a lot when you're trying to work on them or cut them or something. So, let's pull out this here rigid vacuum. Hmm. Looks like it was used. It's dirty around the opening. It's got the tools in there. It's, you know, hoses are over here. Box is kind of wide open, but it looks like it was probably only used once or twice. Maybe somebody didn't like it for some reason, or maybe it's broken and doesn't work anymore. I don't know, but I'll get to the bottom of it eventually. I've got quite a few vacuums and air compressors that I need to take out of the boxes and test. So, I don't know. It's a five horsepower, four gallon. If that thing works, I can probably get an easy 30 or 40 bucks for it. That just puts me that much closer to my four to $5,000 goal. Huh, here's another piece, another uh, tool, just so happened to be in this box. I don't know why it would have been. There's no, no other small stuff in here. Little hole saw, only it is missing the middle bit. So apparently somebody broke it while they were using. And one of the carbide tips, I don't know if you guys can see that. One of the carbide tips there is broken. You can see it looks a little bit different than the next one. It's garbage. It's not worth saving. It's not worth anything because it's broken. It would probably take you forever to drill a hole with that thing, even in wood, because of that carbide tip being broken. Pretty critical piece. All right, well, I'm gonna move some stuff around. I'm gonna set down the camera, and I'm gonna move on to this next crate that is full of a whole lot of small stuff. I have no idea where I'm gonna put some of this stuff, so I might need to assemble that shelf before I come back to the camera. But you just hang tight, keep watching, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back with probably the last part of part three. I don't think there's gonna be a part four because uh, I've pretty much gone through everything and I don't think this video is gonna be way too long. If I do a part four video, it's probably just going to be explaining exactly how much we're expected to make. Once I can get this all done on pen and paper, do some math, but for now, you can see I was able to put together that big plastic cabinet that was in that box over there that was a part of uh, the auction that we got. So now I'm gonna be able to look at all these tools inside of this box, go through it, figure out what's garbage, what's useful and we can sell it. First thing we're gonna go to, Husky tool bag. Looks like it's brand new. Doesn't have any dirt on it or anything and zipper seems to work fine. So I got the shoulder strap in it and everything. I think we actually might need a new tool bag for any one of the semis, so we're probably going to be keeping uh, this. Just shut off. That's okay. All right. Next thing. How do I make it? Okay. Set of defiant uh, doorknobs and deadbolts. Look like they're brand new. You can see up in the four corners where that thing is sealed shut, hasn't even been opened. Looks like the box probably either got bumped or dropped off of a shelf because that's pretty crushed back in there, but it doesn't look like it was opened up enough to have anything fall out of it. So I'm gonna put this over on the shelf and we can move on to the next items. All right, next thing. Ooh, we got a metal mailbox. Looks like it's in the original packaging, but it looks like it is pretty crushed pop open this box and see what the thing looks like to tell whether or not we're just going to throw it away or whether it's worth anything. Oh, it's got a tiny little dent right there in the center. Is this still recorded? Yeah. Okay, that's weird. It just beeped. Come on, door handle. I'm installing. Oh, okay. The beep I just heard is the door handle my father is installing, which just so happened, we got a couple of uh, quick set electronic door handles and we needed a new door handle deadbolt set for our garage door. With all the stuff in here, we want to keep it nice and secure, so we put a nice new uh, door handle unit on there. But mailbox looks like it's fine. Don't have anything wrong with it. I really don't know what a little metal mailbox like this is worth. 
I've never lived in the city and had to buy a mailbox for a house. So, what's that? All right, my father says it should probably be about 25 bucks, so I'll probably be able to sell it for an easy 10 or 15 bucks. Shut this back up. Kind of a bigger box. I'm just gonna set the, some of the bigger stuff up on top of that thing for now. Next thing, I guess it'd be really convenient to have, except for the fact that I just got done moving. Dish packing kit. Box with a whole bunch of styrofoam sleeves so that way you can put your dishes in there. Keep your expensive dishware safe. That would have been pretty nice to have. But if I had to guess, probably worth a couple dollars, I guess I might be able to toss this off to the side and if we make our way to a flea market with some of these items, then I'll be able to sell it for a couple bucks. Uh, next thing, we've got another mailbox. This one looks a little bit more banged up than the other one. Let's check and see what it looks like in the box. Better put that away before I cut myself. Oh yeah, that's crushed. You can see the back of that, it's all dented in. And I guess, oh yeah, that's a little crooked. I don't know that anybody would really want to buy that, so I'm probably just gonna toss that off to the side. That's uh, pretty dented in the side right there. Junk. But you'll have that. A lot of the stuff that we find in here, it's gonna be useless. It's gonna have to go in the garbage can. Oh well. Door closer, tap and go door closer. It was clearly taken back to the store, it's duct taped shut. Maybe worth a few bucks being that it's open, but it doesn't look like it was ever installed. It's not very dirty on the inside or anything. Hmm. Door handle kit looks like it was definitely opened. Um, nothing looks damaged, however, I don't know that all the pieces are in there. We'll have to go through that and make sure everything appears as though it is there. Probably a good item to sell at a flea market. Ooh, this is a pretty cool item. DeWalt 30 amp battery charger, 80 amp engine starter. Multi-bank charging, engine starter, alternator tester. Warns you if you uh, put the battery cables on wrong. A lot of people have that problem. Don't know that red is positive and black is negative. I mean, it doesn't come in a box or anything, but it doesn't really look damaged. It's got a really little crack in that rubber right there. I bet this thing works fine, but I'm gonna set this off to the side and test it out sometime. That'd definitely be worth some pretty good money. Probably an easy hundred bucks. It does say DeWalt on it, and they're pretty proud of their products. All right, next thing. We got a Schumacher portable power jump starter, 400 amp. Still in the box, even though the box is really tore up. Looks like it's brand new. Shows the battery's got a little bit of juice in it. Guess you flip that thing out and you can charge it. Looks fine. I'll have to test it out if I got a junk battery sometime or maybe put a battery tester to it. But uh, I bet I could sell that thing for an easy $20. These little 400 amp ones are not expensive. New, they're probably 40 or 45 bucks. So. Not, not a hard item to sell either. All right. Huh. To be honest, I didn't know anybody took the time 
to use hand planers anymore while doing woodworking. That is a hand planer. If there's anything missing on here, it can't really be anything critical, and it looks like it's very much been taped back shut. I'm not even gonna open that up. It's still in the bag on the inside and everything. I don't know, I'll have to look up to see what it's worth. Maybe five, 10 bucks. All right, next item. I already kind of pointed this one out earlier. Brand new, quick set, smart code 911, touchpad electronic lever. Exterior door handle, really nice. If uh, you ever forget your key and just want to punch in the numbers, get in your house. Or if you ever need somebody else to be able to get in, you're not there, tell them your number, easy access. Big heavy duty set of bolt cutters. Look like they might have been used, a little bit of rust up in here, but other than that, they look perfectly fine. Got a little tag kind of taped to them. Definitely a store return. Maybe somebody re returned them, you know, weren't quite strong enough for them. I don't know. Right. Husky handsaw. Doesn't look like it was ever used. Easy five bucks. Oh boy, we got a grocery bag. There's some entryway door handle stuff in there. I hope none of it's missing, but this bag is pretty open, so I'm gonna have to set that off to the side and check it out later. All right, next item is a rigid, um, rigid filter for shop vac. If you watch the rest of the video, I've got like nine rigid shop backs by now i bet this will uh probably fit one of them i think i might have every model that rigid sells and you can tell by the front of it it looks like it's a little smashed up but brand new filter it's not dirty probably work fine all right next item a very small battery charger pop this out of the box check it out for a quick second Looks like it's brand new. Yeah, looks like it's brand new. If I had to guess, somebody probably needed a bigger one. I don't know that you could really expect to charge anything with that thing unless it was going to be overnight. It's a very small charger. But probably an easy 10 or 20 bucks for that thing. That's heavy. Probably some air tools. Okay, well, let's see why that was returned. Hinge is busted on the plastic box. Got an impact. Oh, yeah. Got a whole little set there. Air chisel is kind of nice to have. Impact. Die grinder. Uh, Air ratchet, I believe. Probably easy 40 bucks to sell this. Pop that back in the box. Maybe put some duct tape on it later or something to keep it from popping open. And uh, this should actually probably go on Facebook or Craigslist. That's heavy, so that's going on the bottom of that shelf. It is a plastic shelf, so I'm not quite sure it's going to be able to hold all this. Alright, next item. The Practice 21 inch, or Practic 21 inch durable tile cutter. I think I actually see a couple of these boxes in here, so it must have been some kind of an overstock. Maybe stuff that fell off the shelf, but other than a couple of little dirt marks, it appears to be brand new. If I had to guess. Probably ten or twenty dollar item. That's not gonna fit in there. Gonna have to find somewhere else to put some of the big stuff. Alright, next thing. 
quick set, smart key, read technology. Huh. Looks like it's brand new. The box looks like it had been opened at some point in time. And you can hear some stuff kind of moving around in there, but hopefully all the pieces are there. Another tile cutter, just gonna set that off to the side. Ooh, here's a good item. That is a concrete hole saw. Three and a half by 12 inch. That thing is probably $150 and it is brand new. Clearly has never been used. I could easily probably get 75 bucks for this thing. I'm gonna set that up here and uh, that'll more than likely go on Facebook or Craigslist. I could even put that in an Amazon store. Once I get an Amazon store started then I will put a link for that in the description down below so that way any of this stuff that I might put on there you can order it. Now I'm not going to guarantee any of it might not be broken. I will definitely not be accepting returns because they all already are returns. So if you choose to buy something from me when I get my Amazon store started you see what I have all right next thing looks to be brand new DeWalt air hose quarter inch pretty nice for running little brad nailers things of that sort lightweight my wife's behind the camera right now being my camera lady and she's giving me funny faces and I have no idea why I don't know if I did something weird Maybe leave a comment down below. Maybe you know why she's laughing, but I don't know. So I might be funny looking, but hey, she married me, so. Another quick set, electric door handle. Pretty nice item. If I could, if I could guess, this has probably gotta be over a hundred bucks. Market half off makes pretty decent money. Oh, I might be keeping these. Husky seven piece long ball end hex bit socket set. These are pretty nice to have. Doesn't look like any of them are missing and I don't know why it would have been returned. None of the tips are broken on them or anything. Maybe somebody just decided they didn't like them or it didn't have the size they needed. I'm gonna set that in my toolbox. items both brand new 15 piece ratcheting screwdriver set seems to work fine crescent wrench set I got plenty of these so that's gonna get sold probably an easy 10 or 15 bucks Anvil steel shears look like they're perfectly fine and some ratcheting wrenches looks like that package was opened looks like that was definitely used that one's bound up doesn't work well at least half of one of them works hmm I don't have any ratchet ratcheting wrenches so these might get kept I don't know what we'll to see More of those anvil shears. There must have been a package of them in here that got ripped open. Another door handle set. Package is busted up, but it doesn't ever look like it was open. These plastic corners up here are still uh, very much sealed together. Hopefully nothing fell out of this hole over here, but I could probably get an easy 20 bucks for this. Laser temperature. Oh, hey, it works. Apparently, some of the stuff in the box is 58 degrees. 
I don't know, I might keep that. It's kind of nice for having for some mechanical work. If you want to see if you got a hot spot on an engine, that kind of thing. It's all set in the toolbox. It's not going to make any money. Hmm? not going to make any money. Uh -huh. Wife's behind the camera giving me crap. This is unbelievable. I'm going to have to hire a different cameraman. I'm not camera being paid. Person. <laughs> camera person. This looks like it's brand new in the box. Pretty nice looking door handle set. Looks like everything's there. Don't know how much it's worth. I'll probably have to look it up because some of these things are cheap. Some of them can be very expensive. All right. Another hand planer. It's kind of odd. It's a tool you don't often see used and this is the second one I've found. If I had to guess, they probably discontinued a model or come out with a new model. There's probably a few more of them in here. Another Defiant set. Well, that one's got a couple of little dents in it, but you know, not everybody really cares. Hmm. Packaging's a little damaged on this. Looks like everything's there though. Definitely be able to sell that kind of thing at a flea market. All right, the next item <laughs> is something that's definitely gonna be kept. A Klein Tools ship auger bit, three quarter inch and 18 and three quarter inches long. We're going to need that to go through some floor joists in our cabin for some uh, renovations that are probably going to be happening, I don't know, I guess within the next couple of years or so. So that's going in the toolbox. Next thing is, huh, that's kind of neat. Battery tire inflator. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a battery, but um, it might work fine with a battery, I don't know. Looks like it is brand new. Probably just got smashed or fell off a shelf or something, but it looks like it is brand new. That should be relatively easy to sell. And I believe I have some other rigid tools, or uh, Ryobi tools around here. Might be able to make some kind of a bundle deal. Oh, this looks like it'll be a torque wrench. Very used. Hmm. Works. Both directions. So it might not torque. Probably just sell this. We've already got a few torque wrenches hanging around. Put that on the table at a flea market. Should be relatively easy to sell. I'm not going to open this one. Box doesn't look like it's smashed or anything, so it's probably just returned. Another mailbox. Metal. Rust resistant, galvanized steel, black. Alright, next thing. Huh. <laughs> A little husky tiny tool set. It's kind of useful. I don't know why my wife is laughing. Something about tiny tool. I guess something about tiny tools. Husky tiny tools. Hmm? What's that? <clears throat> Easy item to sell. Drive sale or right, flea market. The wall converter. I'll have to test to make sure it works fine, but it looks like the box is just ripped open. Doesn't look like the product was ever taken out. Doesn't look like it was used. Maybe 10, 20 bucks. Oh boy. I got a feeling not everything is in there, but there was a door handle in there at one point. I guess we'll have to check that one over. All right, Husky tool set. Decent sockets. Ratchet stuck. Won't move. The rest of it looks fine. But even this doesn't look like it was used very long, so apparently that was a faulty ratchet. 
but those look like some pretty nice sockets. Should be pretty easy to sell that at a flea market. Another hand planer. I believe that's number three. Got a few more crescent wrenches. One of them, yeah, well, the packaging is kind of ripped open. Maybe somebody tried to steal it or maybe somebody returned it, I don't know. They look fine. Grab to take this out of there. Dad needs a new filter for his rigid at the cabin. All right, another little Husky tool set. Huh, a little quarter inch drive ratchet. It's missing a few sockets. Ratchet works fine. Be able to sell that for I don't know, maybe 10, 15 bucks. Jigsaw tool only. Battery. Oh. Doesn't come with a battery. Looks brand new. Wonder if maybe does that lock in place somehow? It appears as though it's supposed to, but I don't know if it does. Hmm. I think that must have been a floor model. My dad might know how to get it to lock. Hmm. I don't know. Your dad ain't very smart. <laughs> <laughs> Might be able to sell this for a few bucks. I don't know if it works without a battery. That doesn't seem to lock in place. There's a box of the players. Ooh, socket set. Deep well socket set. They're all there. Doesn't look like any of them are damaged or anything. It was originally $25, I think. No idea what this is. Not a clue. You got a clue? Get that camera <laughs> off of me. <laughs> I have no idea. No idea. Huh. It mounts on something because there's a screws for it. I was wondering what that was. You're so photogenic. I yes. know I am. <laughs> right, next things. Mm, still the receipt. Wow. That was $209. What is it? Sensor not working. This is made by who? I don't know. Oh, pure. That is a water purifier. Go on your sink. That screws on the bottom of that, purifies water. That's pretty nice. But it's only good for parts if it don't work. Yeah, I don't know. It says sensor not working. I don't know what kind of sensor it would have. And it appears somebody drew a penis on there. <laughs> yep. I don't know why somebody would have done that. Or maybe it's supposed to be something else, but it definitely looks like a penis. Probably sell that at a flea market for a few bucks. Found another pair of these cutters made by Anvil. They look like they're brand new. Looks like if I ever, there was a set of those that opened up. I have no idea what this thing is. I'm gonna set this up in here and I'm gonna have to look into that later and maybe figure it out. Storm door closer, brand new in the container. Never been opened, still sealed shut. I'm running out of room in my shelf. That looks like it might be unopened. Nice door handle set there. There seems to be a whole lot of door handles in here. That looks like a tire inner tube. Ooh, there's a bunch of grease in there. I'm not about to get dirty for a few dollar inner tube. 
Big ratchet. It's locked. Locked up. Somebody might buy it for a buck at a flea market. Stud sensor. HD70, made by Zircon. Doesn't look like it's smashed or anything, but the packaging was clearly bent. But that could have happened in that box. Oh, bottom of it is cut off, so somebody did have that open. Might be able to test that later, but everything looks like it's fine. I'll sell that for a couple bucks. Next thing, big rigid orbital sander. Originally $115. That's busted off. Looks like it's missing some kind of a piece right here to attach your uh, sanding stuff to it. But other than that, doesn't look too terrible. Probably still sell it for, you know, maybe 20 bucks if I epoxy that thing back up there. That'll be a good flea market item. All right. Three piece impact extension bar and adapter set. A few bucks. All right. A couple of Allen key sets. Oh, those look really fancy. They got some kind of ridges on there. They look like they would grab on really nice. These are kind of cool. You ever seen these before? Look like ridges on there. Hmm. That's no, cool. That. Non-slip, non-slip hex key set. You can see them ridges on there like that. I've never seen anything like that. That's cool. I'll have to look them up to see how much they're worth. But if I had to guess, probably an easy twenty bucks. Pricing on the back of it or nothing? No, no pricing on this one. Ryobi 1 plus 18 volt vacuum. Vacuum. No battery. Looks pretty scuffed up, but it all looks in one piece. Maybe I can get my hands on a battery from a friend and test this thing out. It says it's 25 bucks, so if it works, maybe 10 bucks. Another socket set. Metric deep well socket set unopened. Easy sell at a flea market. For sure. Right. Marks. Quality engineered lock sets. I'm curious. Can't see this one. Don't know what it looks like. So it's still taped shut though. That looks pretty heavy duty. Yeah, that's commercial. I got a feeling that's for a commercial door, which is very expensive. And I think we might actually need one of those for our shop. We do. Cool. That's awesome. That thing's probably a couple hundred dollars. Uh, they're three to five hundred. Three to five hundred dollars for one of them. Does it come with the handle? And it's got one handle. One chintzy feeling handle. But <laughs> probably not even for it. That's okay though. Might not be, but you know what? We oh, can make do without that. Our handles are still on our door. We, our lock set was bad. Perfect. Got a nice new lock set. We needed that. Larry will be happy. Yeah, no kidding. All right. Stud Another Zircon stud finder. A little bit bigger one than the last. It was open, so might be able to test it out. I don't know. Don't think it's probably got any batteries in it now, but maybe five bucks. Another stud finder. No packaging. It's got a battery in it, but I don't know how. Oh, all right. So, apparently, I am a stud. It seems to be working just <laughs> fine. 
<laughs> My wife is cracking up behind the camera at the moment. And I am sure any man with a stud finder in his hand and his wife standing next to him has probably made that cheesy joke. All right, door handle assembly. This looks like all the parts are there, but it was definitely opened up. I don't know. That's a lot of tape. Made by 3M. I just so happen to know a guy that does a whole lot of body work. Does a whole lot of painting. He might use this stuff. Another anvil. Cutters. Alright. Some nice ratcheting wrenches. They work fine. There's one missing. Somebody probably stole it out of the store because... This thing has never been taken off of there, so I don't know. I bet somebody got themselves a free ratcheting wrench. Wow. <laughs> Fiskers titanium weed cutters. Now, can anybody explain to me why you'd put a titanium blade and then plastic handles? That doesn't make sense. Clearly, it's going to break. Titanium's not very impressive anymore when you attach it to plastic. Uh, what do we got here? Another, another big husky set. That looks brand new. I don't even know if this has been opened. There's some stuff kind of out of place in there, which is expected. Huh. Yeah, they still got oil on them from the factory to stop this stuff from rusting in the package. Say, check the ratchet. That ratchet is stuck, and it's brand new. That doesn't even have a spot of dirt it's the on it. Same ratchet that was in the other box. It's the same exact ratchet that was in the other box. Apparently, Husky's making some junk ratchets. I don't know, but I bet somebody will buy this thing at a flea market for. An easy twenty or thirty dollars. Over two hundred dollars if purchased separately. That's kind of a joke if your ratchet doesn't work. And the Ryobi tool. Huh? The, no, the Ryobi tool in the corner. Up, up, back, towards you, straight down. There's a battery. Hey, we have a battery. And apparently. This was the floor model. The floor model because that battery is locked in place on there. Is it charged? It doesn't have any. I mean, unless this button's broke, it doesn't have any charge to it. But at least I got a battery now. If I can just find somebody charger. with a charger. What what watt is it? Or uh, that's an 18 volt. Then I wonder if my like uh, if they're similar to the Milwaukee's or anything else. I don't know. Huh. So, here's some pieces and parts, anyway, to a hand vac kit with a battery. It's a little bit different than the other one, though. Different model. Probably still fits the same battery. And uh, I'll have to charge that up and figure out if that works. I'll definitely be taking that battery off there and probably putting it on the other tool if this tool is garbage. If you have it, there we go. They have the ability to charge it. All right. Screwdriver set. Looks like all the pieces are there. Easy sell at a flea market. Probably five bucks. If we make it to our four or five thousand dollar goal, five dollars at a time, that is perfectly fine with me. I just hope we make it there. Hey, here's some of them anvil tips or tin snip sets. Set. Only there's two in this one. Your red handle on top of the box, you already took it off. Huh. Red, green, and yellow. So well, I got this one. It's meant to go in that set. Perfect. I can take that back shut. Somebody will likely buy that for maybe five or ten bucks. Nails by DeWalt for uh, some kind of nailer. 
finish nails for a DA nailer? I don't know that they're really worth anything. Probably, I don't know, 20 bucks in store or so. What in the world? Six pack. <laughs> huh. Just like a little carrying case. Looks like it would fit a case of beer in there just right, but not hold your ice. But it looks like it would also hold tools in a semi tool toolbox. Ooh, yeah. That can hold some tools in a semi, and then if we're not using it, flat. Easy storage. Cool. Oh, Ooh, cool. Clear. Real easy bump feed trimmer head. <laughs> I've got about 30 or 40 trimmers in this garage and a whole bunch of them are AOB. So, that'll be kind of nice to have. Reloads in under 60 seconds, so that makes it real easy to uh, spin some new wire into your head. I don't know what they're laughing at me about. Mail slot. Looks fine. I don't know that you could really break one. Looks brand new. Ooh, little little bit set. Nice little ratchet. Oh. Uh -oh. Well, uh -oh. not so nice. Not so nice little ratchet. So, I guess that part's garbage, but the rest of it's fine. Maybe a dollar. We could have put that back together. The snap ring's right there. <laughs> All the parts were there. You just threw away $1.50. <laughs> That's not a snap ring. Uh-uh. Uh, I don't waste your time. Just leave it in there. I'll fix it when you're not here. Black & Decker. 500 watt power inverter. We use these in the semis all the time. However, We've got quite a few of them, so I don't think we need any more of them. Picking up to power our laptop. Kind of nice to have in your vehicle every now and then. Probably a pretty easy sell. Alright. I'm officially out of room in my shelf. These crates should have had more shelves in them. There's a manifest that I looked at a couple of the things on there and I was supposed to have some big shelves and somehow they're not in here. I'm a little upset with that. I'm probably gonna be getting a hold of the company about that. I highly doubt they're gonna do anything. That's usually the way things go in an auction, but we'll see. Maybe they'll say, oh yeah, we know where it's at and I can go pick up my shelves. More door handle parts. A million of them in there. I'm probably going to be getting in this box and kind of showing you guys the rest of some of this stuff, but I have nowhere to put any of it anymore. The shelf over here that I put together is completely full. I'm out of space. Oh, and it also appears that I'm out of battery. You guys hold tight. I'll be right back. I need to put a new battery in this here GoPro. All right, we are back the next day from, you know, that little, I guess, skip scene you just saw. And because I had so many doorknobs. I'm probably gonna have to edit out some of that video, but I also went through that box, I pulled out all of the doorknobs I've got, and this thing is completely full of doorknobs. There's a couple of door closers in there. Got a couple of nice, real big industrial, commercial ones. These are pretty expensive, it says $51 on it. Maybe it's a cheaper brand, I don't know. Usually they're a few hundred bucks. But that is all doorknobs. That would probably explain why these pallets were all supposed to go over $18,000 of retail because a lot of these things are a few hundred dollars a piece. Kind of crazy, but that's boring. We're skipping all that. We gotta quickly move through this stuff because I'm a truck driver and I gotta get in my semi and go. I gotta be a couple hours away in about two and a half hours so that way I can get loaded and be on my way back to the warm Florida from Ohio. So. Got another stud finder, another stud finder, another stud finder, an even bigger one. That uh, I think there's about six more over here. Ah. Another 
doorknob got left in there. Got to get those things out of there. They're taking up too much space in there. Ooh, that's probably going to be garbage. Gravity feed paint gun was definitely used as it's covered in paint. I'll have to try to run some water through it and see if the openings on that are still okay. Maybe somebody cleaned the inside of it out with some paint thinner or something before they returned it. Unfortunately, they probably didn't, and it's probably garbage. Another decent little husky tool set. That seemed to work fine on the last one too. That's dirty and all the rest of it looks like it's brand new. I've gotten two or three of these. I don't know why this is the, looks like it's the only used piece, but oh well. Probably an easy five bucks at flea market. Got some speed out titanium bits. Those are kind of nice. I don't have a set of these, so I'm probably gonna be keeping these for myself. They're only a couple bucks anyway. And I used to have one. It definitely is worth the money. These things work pretty well. Alright, another gravity feed spray gun. I'll open up that and check it out later. Gotta keep moving. Alright, got a 3 8 butterfly impact wrench. I think there was a few more of these in here. This one's still sealed in its container. I think there was uh, maybe another one. I'll find it somewhere along the way. Yeah. Another stud finder. Yeah. Here's another impact wrench. Still sealed in the container for that one too. Another cool thing. Some plastic, those plastic blades right there flip out. You uh, put those on a string trimmer and you can probably cut down about three inch thick trees with that. I've got one for mountain string trimmer, it works pretty well. Should easily get a few bucks for that at a flea market. You might have seen earlier in the video, I, sh I grabbed this and I had no idea what it is. It appears it goes to this Craig Jig K4, so that way you can clamp a piece of wood in there and drill diagonal holes through that top piece. This looks like that's probably some kind of an accessory for that. That's a pretty cool piece. Hopefully all the pieces and parts are in there. That's probably a $20 or $30 item. Inner tube for an 8 inch rim. A few bucks at a flea market. Alright, got a little husky quarter inch ratchet, works fine. DeWalt Allen key set, none of them look like they're broken. I've got a uh, box over here, I've just been putting some random tools along the way that I find in here that are just not in packages anymore. Oh, pretty nice, pretty bright light, made by Cobra, or, oh, made by Coast. Lights, knives, multi-tools. Cool. Nice to have. Found a few of these along the way, kind of nice, because I got a whole bunch of chainsaws over there that need chains that I got in some of these pallets. So there's a handful of these chainsaw chains in here. I'll put those in there, too, just to have a place to go. Uh, here's more door parts. Door knob parts, torque set, torque key set. All right, die grinder set. These are pretty nice to have. That'll definitely be an easy tool to get rid of at a flea market. All right, along with that, if I can get a charger for that thing, a little eight volt drill. Just plugs in and rechargeable back there. These little things are actually kind of nice to have sometimes. Here's another one of them heads. The blades on it for cutting down basically shrubbery and probably upwards to a three inch tree with a string trimmer. It's really nice to have. Ooh. 
good flea market item. Stanley heavy duty electric staple slash nail gun. Probably doesn't work very good. It's electric. Should probably only ever be a pneumatic tool. But somebody created it out of air. Probably sell it for five or ten bucks. Got some extensions here. These ones look fine. Ooh, somebody really cranked on on that one because that is twisted. These other two are brand new though. They don't look like they've ever been used. Definitely still be able to sell them, maybe a few bucks. Yeah, that used to be a gear wrench. It's got no gears in it. Big Husky pliers, There's a couple of bent wrench. There was a set of these in there that probably belongs to that. Another porcelain and glass tile cutter. Let's set this off to the side, because it will not fit in my cabinet. Another one of the bent wrenches. We got a whole bunch of those in there. Hey, if anybody can tell me whether or not this flex seal tape works very good, I'm curious. This is a, looks like a partial roll of this flex tape. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to pop a hole in a bucket to see if it'll work. Ah, I missed. Oh well. Toilet flange repair ring. We actually kind of need one of these. The toilet in our shop just got replaced and it's not working out so hot. It tips a little bit due to some uh, decay in the floor around it. That'll probably solve our problem. Ooh, whole bunch of tools missing. I believe there were some of these tools kind of floating around here, like that one. But a whole bunch of sockets. Easy to sell. A little husky flashlight. You never have too many flashlights. More sockets. Easy to sell item. I've never broken one of these things, and I've cranked down pretty hard on a lot of them. Well, he's probably Another one of these wrenches to the set, but the box is all ripped open. We'll just throw that away. Another door handle assembly for like a sliding glass patio door. Apparently I missed one when I was trying to take them all out of here. There's another one. Ah, here's a bunch of sockets. There's a whole bunch of tools in here. We're just going to put that whole bag in there so that way they don't fall out. Oh, a couple more. Now, that's a busted up quarter inch drive ratchet. Another bent wrench. It's nice to have to get in some of them awkward places. Another bent wrench. Ooh, a little puller. I think I might actually need this. I don't know if this will pull a pitman arm or not, but I'll have to check and see if that'll fit on my pitman arm on my truck. It's 130. Some Oregon chains. We're gonna move through this real quick. Battery charger. Battery charger. Got some casters. Brand new extension cord. Always need a bunch of these around. A bunch more sockets. A whole bunch more Allen keys. Box of plastic sheeting. If you're gonna do some painting. Some more of these speed out bits. We'll put those in there. Uh, I want to say this is a tool that machinists use. I think it must be like a universal for a bunch of their machines that they use. That thing pops apart. Whole bunch of different bits inside of it. Kind of nice to have. Not for me though, because I don't do any machining. So definitely sell that at a flea market though. All right. Shower curtain. Another stud finder. Huh, material estimator. Huh, little uh, workplace calculator kind of deal. And a whole bunch more tape. On oh, the box of that tape, there's a whole bunch more in there. One of these gravity feed guns, I can stick that over in the